So hey guys, today we're gonna to be looking at this Inkbird indoor radon monitor. Basically it just turns on and it's gonna monitor the radon that you have in your house because radon is dangerous and you don't want it in your house. So we just got this, we're gonna open it. You see they have a, a seal pack for uh, freshness. And then there is a information manual. Uh, this looks like a reset like that you would get on a phone. So when we get the unit out, we will see it's got nice little foam padding and then the unit itself it's very small uh weighs less than a pound this foam is very nice so you can reuse this to put it back so basically your unit is here and when the bottom is a reset right there it says reset it says reset there in mode here uh this here is a tab so i'm assuming there's batteries in it uh it's battery powered so you're going to pull that out when you're ready to use it and there's a spot here so if you want to hang it up you can basically once you start using this you can't move it while it's running because it will mess up the operation so you're going to let it start it's going to run it says for an hour but it'll start giving you readings before that but you need an hour for it to run to get your initial reading um, you can run it 24 hours a day uh, as many days as you want and then after a certain amount of time you just reset it to make sure you got up-to-date information it is covered with a Looks like a thin plastic that you can remove if you want. So we're going to pull this out, and it should it should be ready there. It's, now it's calibrating. When it's calibrating, you don't want to be holding it. You want it to calibrate on a flat surface so it'll come on. You'll see the green, yellow, red. That's the danger levels. Green is fine. Yellow is going to be, hey, you keep your eye on it. Red is dangerous. So it says it takes about a minute to calibrate because I did read the information user manual earlier. Uh here is the tab if you want to take off the plastic cover. I don't see where it hurts anything. It actually protects it, so I'm leaving mine on. Much like a glass, the covers that you put on your cell phones. So while this is calibrating, you see it counting down. And it should come on, start, now starting to collect data. It's a PCI per liter. So this is going to have to run for a few minutes to start get our initial reading. And while it runs, uh, we'll just get back to you and let's see when it starts reading. So this does take AAA batteries. A couple things we want to go here. You don't want to, it should be placed 50 centimeters above the floor, 150 centimeters from the nearest door, window, or vent. Uh, do not move it during measurement, which we already told you. If the screen displays a sorry message like this, that's when you have to go back and reset it. Take your batteries out for 30 minutes, reset it and then put your batteries back in and uh, redo the test. So this unit cannot be de uh, submersed in water. So while it's collecting data, I just wanna go over a few features. You wanna wipe this down with like a wet damp cloth, not the soaking wet cloth. Do not submerse it in water. You will ruin the unit. You will avoid the warranty. So the warranty on this is basically it's one year warranty against defects or components or workmanship. And then you contact them and they will de decide whether or not to replace it or repair it. So it does have a one year warranty. Here it shows the unit, this pin here. It tells you when to go in and reset it. So this also has a scan code right here. So you can scan it and it will take you to their, their actual uh, Inkbird site and you can look up things on their actual site using this scan code. This unit is a little bit different than some of the others that I've seen, because if you look at it, there are different modes you can set to change how you uh, want to between the BQM or the particles per liter, or you can also change the mode down here. But in order to do it, there's not a button actually on the unit. You will take that pin and right below the reset up here on the back bottom of it, there is a mode. So you're going to take the pin just like you were resetting it, and use it in the mode and you will push this in and you can change the different modes in it. It doesn't have a button on the actual unit itself. You will use this pin. So it's still in the process of collecting the data to get to particulars per, per liter. So while we're waiting, I wanted to show you how you would check your modes. So you basically take this and push inside of here. And as I do it, I wanna show you the different modes. That tells you what, what day it is. This is day zero. 
That tells you your version number, and then you go back to park coolers per second. So basically, this takes 24 hours. It's been a few hours since we did it. it from what I read, it takes 24 hours for these to go away and get your first reading. Uh, you'll notice when we did the uh, calibration, well, these will disappear one bar at a time, and it does the same thing as you're getting your park coolers per second. It just takes about 24 hours. What we'll do is show you after 24 hours what it looks like. Then after the first day, this will update every hour. So it'll give you the numbers for the previous hour, but it takes 24 hours to activate and give you your first numbers. That's why it said day zero. So we'll get back with you and show you what it looks like. And uh, basically the other, only other thing I can tell you about it is your batteries are back here. You see this, you slide this down and open it to change your batteries. This does not shut off, it stays on all the time. So if you want to shut it off for any reason, you would have to remove the batteries to reset it to shut it off. Or, because just resetting it just sets it back to the original settings. But it will stay on all the time and give you your readings for every hour as long as you leave it on. So as this is running, for your initial uh, reading, these dots are going to be six of these. They will slowly drop down till you get to zero dots, and then you will start getting your numbers, your readings, and then you know it's started working. Here you'll see we have an initial reading of 2.55. It has changed 0 0.2, 0 0.2 par particulars. Here it's 2.55, and it's currently at 2.55 particulars. It just keeps adjusting itself. This is hourly and it's updating. Here it is 2.55. It has had a change during the from 2.42 to 2.55 particulars. And here it's 2.55 with a change of 2.40 particulars. So it just moves around every hour. You'll notice here it's 2.55 with a high of 4.02. It's just going to every hour update and it'll show updates sure. every hour after it finally gets the numbers on. We're on day one. I remember showing you pushing the button in when we went to the mode. It said day zero. So it's been a whole day and our highest level was 4.95. You'll see the black is blacked out above the green, which means it's good. So this is good. Now this will start updating every hour after, after the initial one. I can tell you that I originally thought, and I said I believed it was around 30 minutes to an hour to get your initial reading. That was incorrect. It actually took, uh, it says on the pamphlet anywhere, the manual, anywhere between six hours and 24. It actually took slightly over 24 hours for us to get our initial readings. But after the initial readings, it updates every hour. And you can see right now, currently this level is 2.55. Uh, day one and the highest level is 4.95. So it does do what it's supposed to do. So overall, I'd say it's a nice little unit to have. Just be patient when you're getting your initial setup because it'll calibrate quickly and you're going to think that you're going to get your initial readings quickly. It says they can get it in six hours, but for us it took over 24. So once it gets going, it's it'll give you your numbers, but you might have to be patient to get your original reading. It's lightweight. It's made so you can hang it up. It stays on all the time. It takes AAA batteries, and it's made by Inkbird.